Is it working? Hello friends, I am Quiblington, craft veteran and extraordinary offender. This here is a world where all you're in for the glory of objective attacking, and not all can be the greatest. You must climb a great hill to stand on top of the offensive world. I cannot climb for you, bodily cohabitation loss prevents such a thing, but I can be a rope. Forevermore I am Quiblington, but today I am your guide on the winding, fluttering journey you'll find yourself on. Look around, you'll find the wool. Look too close, so you may find yourself. Take my hand in yours and learn how to fucking offend. At the moment, our goal is to positionally align ourselves with the wool. To attain spatial harmony, we must implement a walk to the wool. To walk to the wool requires one to walk forward. To walk forward requires the walk forward key. Let's find what ours is. Huh, it's W. A classic choice for a classical crafter such as myself. So let's put our little legs on the move and stride on over to the wool. We can't walk past this though, so we must build across. But time is valuable and the wool waits for none. Watch how the enlightened crafter swiftly erects his bridge. A great wind carries us. By its breeze, we have arrived at the coveted Middling Island. Heavily contested and warlike, people fight for the value of this land. Some enemy frontliners will arrive soon, because they believe they can defeat me. Take this place from me. Look now. They fall upon me like a rain of piss on the Garden of Life. But they've made a mistake, one of the worst possible. They went up against me, Wibblington. But death here is impermanent, so we must wake way across. The rotting hole to which they've been sent, from which they'll come again. This bridge is rather stylish, though. Sort of ancient monumental, strong aesthetic. Not so fast to build, pleasing on the eyes. A valid philosophy, the game is worth enjoying. A bit silly to build it onto the map since it lets me jump onto it. The ideal sky bridge allows me to jump onto them, rather. Gravity tends to go that way, don't dwell on it. We're about to encounter a respawning frontliner. I have a plan, bear with me though. Some people will appraise the concept of aggressive defending. Personally, I'm an advocate for passive offending. I believe we can reason with these people. It comes time to submit our barter. We place our faith in the Emerald's power, a power of temptation. What greater evil is there than that of greed? To fill your worth with wealth of the material sort? These hollow men don't stand a chance. Oh boy, a dreadful rejection. We've come to a real fucking predicament right now. We need, we need to shroud ourselves in the protective shell of nine wooden blocks. Okay, the good news is that defenders are capable of detecting me through planks. If at any point we find yourself cornered, just place a barrier to break line of sight. We'll just wait them out, because we are patient and time is a resource we have in spades. But we're short of another more important resource, and that is boats. It's going to be quite the task to get past all these defensive walls and armaments, something even an offending guru like I will struggle with. But the use of the boat will make itself clear soon. Okay, we've done it. We've achieved alignment. We've finagled the defenders and traversed the fortifications. We have faced our trials and the reward is upon us. There's nothing- the fuck? Okay, there is nothing left to get between us and our precious objective. We are in harmony, the lime wool is upon us, but we have a trick, a tricky trick trick. We'll set these wools down here, where they can maintain the illusion of choice, and of our own agency, we're going to enable a resource pack that transforms all lime wool into orange, like its own sort of magic. Surely this seems a pointless change, but the trick lies in perception. Let's take this now, orange wool, it's much more valuable now. But you say it's the same, is it not? Well, look over here. It's the lime wool, as green as the day it was born. For the only change is the change that we see. But to keep merely two colored cloths? We don't think of life in terms of quotas and cutoffs. We are free minds. We believe in more than the wolves. Over yonder, see an unplundered objective. We can make the simple jump over a gap not too girthy. The technique of ancient says one must build to the sky and take a leap of faith. But the modern wool master will ride the- oh, fuck. Defender. Well, remember that the self is not merely one, so let's take off our id and place it gently on the ground. This dumb bitch defender can shoot it like it's anything meaningful. Meanwhile, let's see what kind of fucker you can get to here. Yeah, looks like we've been puzzled. If we choose wrongly, it will kill us instantly by manner of lethal injection. A barbaric yet elegant method perfectly befitting to its nature. Do not be confounded, hold your ground and look closely. These were made to be selves. The upper novice would think the pattern in purple or green makes them the correct answer. But look ever closer and notice what they're saying to you. This is ASCII binary, the language of computers. Oh, so it's English. With vast computational knowledge, we can decode what this is. Lowercase c, lowercase y, lowercase a, lowercase n. Cyan, which makes cyan will the correct answer. If you encounter any more puzzles, they won't be any more complex than this. You could learn everything you need in an afternoon if you apply yourself hard enough. Just take the passing knowledge on pattern recognition, combinatorics, and the occasional cryptography. You should be fine. Oh, some defender detonation bows. Level 3, no less. Surprised they're still in here and get they're rather strong given their relative ease of acquiring. Somewhat considered unfair or exploitative, but this is no place for courtesy. We must make use of every tool we can find. This defender will be detonated, no matter how rude it considers the prospect. The grand platform it stands on is steadfast, but it failed to factor in the portal equation. I salute you, enemy defender. You deserve more than to be detonated, but this was always your fate. There's another. Seems weaker, less skilled. Some kind of a bitch, even. 
The defender opposite me has a rather sophisticated, dare I say intellectual defense. That mystical grid is literally the perfect mathematical distribution of water. It's breathtaking, honestly. And those pistons, and those poor offenders, that can never make their way past. It's just not set in their way. I'm grateful they don't have to deal with that on my way out. What a terrifying prospect. We should be thankful to the little things, like this absolute trash can defense cobbled together from spare parts in the back alley rat's nest. It seems to be going for the counterclockwise double helix archetype. A rather outdated meta, I'll show it what for, with the bow again, no real drawback to it. But it turns out the bow isn't infinity. There really is no drawback, I suppose that's the downside. Luckily, our opponent is well within melee range. In fact, very deep within it. A swift strike to the sternum renders the petty defender a likeness of the dirt it thrives in. We know we're in no danger now, so let's take a moment to reflect. The briefest moment of respite across our chaotic journey. I think what we need is some perspective. See my teammates over there, those offenders, they're stuck in a rut. They keep trying over and over the exact same thing, and failing every time. They're incapable of a very important thing that makes humans what they are, to learn, and to try again from a different angle. This is unfortunately the nature of humanity, one of the great injustices of the universe. Some people just instinctively do better than others. You might look at those poor offending souls and see yourself in them, but you don't have to be them. It's easy to resign yourself to your determined fate. To say you have bad genes, say you have a slow brain, say you'll never make it. You can't make a racehorse out of a sheep, not ever, but you can still make an exceptionally fast sheep. The nature of humanity is that we are all capable of change, with even the most minuscule of growth each day. It'll add up, and maybe in a decade's time you'll be something else entirely. Perhaps a doctor, perhaps a cosmonaut, perhaps a grandmaster offender. Across your life, you'll look back and wonder if you were even the same person at all. All it takes is to never let yourself sag for a day, week, month. Be consistent. Always do something for yourself. Take your evolution to a speed above absolute nothing. Be steady and you'll find yourself gliding along the meadow of life towards true betterment. Mankind got to where it is through evolution. A mere man can do the same. Of course it won't be effortless, but effort is relative. What you found hard yesterday might be easy today. Time passes no matter what you do, so consider it your most valuable resource. If you just keep moving forward, with time you can achieve greatness. We know not all can be the greatest, but certainly all can be great. Do you think you can be great? Are you a human, or are you resigned to be one of the sheep? Because what truly matters is that we all move forward, sheep, human, or other- What? These little buggers, they don't understand what powerful advice I'm providing. If they knew even half of this, they wouldn't even be on some hodonk server trying to- Alright, my train of thought is gone, well off the rails, careening into a thought mountain. Let's get out of here. See this dumb twister thing and its idiot water holes? Well, the water exists for a reason. It's not a very good reason, which is why I like it being here so much. It's a fatal flaw that will lead to our victory. My interest to lie with the opposite of the defenders. See, this water demands a boat, because of your identity. What? Where did you come from? I suppose some of my teammates really do have it figured out. It's important to remember, no matter how good you are, you're not better than everyone at everything. Okay, let's ride. I mentioned before this water setup had issues, that being if the defensive spirals to be considered technically complete, it'll need to extend downwards indefinitely. Complying with such arbitrarily stringent regulations is undoubtedly foolish, so of course that's exactly what it's done. To exploit this, we'll take a trip to the underworld. Temper your expectation, it'll be quite friendly, most likely. There is absolutely no cause for concern, in fact I outright demand you not be concerned. I see, lovely place, beautiful architecture, gives off a sort of dwarven deconstructor's vibe. Downright delectable. You have to appreciate whoever made this, whichever stranger out there it may be. There's no such thing as wasted effort so long as one person appreciates it, even yourself. Let us take a stroll on this mighty bridge. A trustworthy place, I can tell already. Yeah, there's no real danger here. You hear Underworld and you get all these ideas about it. Some fiery hellscape, spirits of the damned, the eternally tortured. The thing about fears is that they're often irrational. It takes great levels of introspection to suss out which of them. Sometimes it's a good idea to leap into your fears straight on. Not always, though. Sometimes it... Okay, what? Alright, I'll admit to being wrong with this once. This makes for a good example, actually. We should run now. Running is always a valid option. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's better to be thought of as a coward than to be fucking dead, so feel free to run. Don't let anybody invalidate you or your life choices. If they do, maybe pull a gun on them. See how brave they are then. Gun is always a valid option. I think right now is actually a great time for gun. Yeah, gun it up. Gun, 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 gun. Oh, whoops. Uh, this technique is largely frowned upon. Uh, I imagine because it relies on dual wielding and is therefore exclusive to post support 9 clients. It's going to be going away anyways with Operation Ares. We're taking advantage of it while we can. The mechanic just deserves to be used. Oh, oh well. Quite the spectacle. Reminds me of my past, but more so my future. You have to remember sometimes that we're doing all this for fun. There's no shame in taking joy in this. Reveling in immense destruction once in a while cleanses the soul. Wielding power like this, one is nearly obligated to employ it. Oh hey, green wool. Do not besmirch fate, it might always still work for you. Earlier, it handed me 100,000 United States. Tell the fuck off, man. That's my money. Okay, I think we're getting near the end. Everything should be fully straightforward from here. My confidence in our success has never been higher. I'm with four wolves and a lump sum of 100k. Still, I'm curious. What's behind all this? Wait. Wait, how could that be our- That's- That's my face! 
Huh, weird looking place alright. Pretty abstract. Oh well, no sense dawdling. Moving on. Uh, what in God's screen name? Oh, here we are. The Victory Monument, the ultimate destination, the end of games, for all we've gone through, for all we've done. Alright, you massive fuck, you think you know better than I do what it means to control- This is what it comes to, a complete victory of the objective. True alignment, this is what we've been after, through all that effort we've claimed. Ah, fuck, we missed a bunch of them. Yeah, there's 16 slots here, looks like there's actually 12 more walls to get if we want to actually properly win the game. Oh well, take what you can get, but you know what, I think you can just extrapolate from here. Go get the rest of the walls on your own, as homework. I believe you have the skill set now, I've provided it to you, so now go make use of it. It's nearly your duty now, otherwise the journey was a waste. Also, I think I have a spare gold block. See, it pays to overprepare. Better than underpreparing in any case. Before we finish, I'm going to do a quick plug here. I mentioned bodily cohabitation laws at one point, and I, well, ignored that. If anyone knows of a strong-willed and able-bodied human, bring them to me, because I wish to merge with them in order to create the ultimate being with power to rival and perhaps kill God. So either way, be on the lookout for that. If you know of a suitable host, don't hesitate to contact. Uh, that's about it, thanks for watching.